Hello everyone and welcome back for episode 23. Things are about to get a little caliente over here and we're gonna head into the Dusty Brush Canyon for a total of one star eight and nine bits. Let's go investigate. I like how I don't really draw out the intros for these episodes. They're just kind of right to the point. Oh god, was that a person hanging? This is a dangerous area over here. And I say it like not like I, I don't mean to like I always try not to draw them out but I end up doing it anyway on some of the other series but it's nice that I, there's nothing really to say like you, you already know how this goes we're gonna play some scribble knots so we might as well get right to the point and by trying to <laughs> examine why I'm generally getting right to the point I've eluded the fact of getting right to the point this time so let's do that now what does this cowboy want bandit stole my money help me get it back I can't give you money but I can give you a horse everybody's got to have a horse how about a silver horse? There he is. And a copper horse. And a golden gold horse. And a burning horse. This is my favorite horse so far. And a butt stallion. I kind of feel bad for the burning horse. You go in the garbage. I also kind of want to make a crystal horse. Alright, cool. So now I'm pretty sure all of our problems should be solved, and we should be able to leave this area. Correct? Yet. Okay, so this, this guy still needs to get his money back. Let's give him a shotgun. Because whenever money is involved, you always want to bring artillery into the mix, because it always just makes things so much more desirable. How about we just give him some money? I really don't even want to fight. Let's just skip the middleman. I'll take the shotgun. You get a dollar. Everybody will be happy. What is this batty pony doing? Get, over, get out of there. Can't see what's going on. Man, my Maxwell's looking pretty badass right now. Jetpack, rocket boots, and a shotgun. I feel like I'm ready to take on the world. I wonder what he listens to in those little headphones of his. How about a uh, gold safe? See, this is ironic because the safe is actually made of gold. But it can't really be stolen because it's heavy. I don't know what to make of any of this. I think the gold pony should want to go hang out with the gold safe or something. Um... I don't know, I guess the bandit's the guy underneath there. How do I even get to that guy? I guess I gotta go around? Should probably, like, save this person hanging, by the way. Maxwell's having a good time. I'll just take that. There we go. Hey! Give that back. Dastardly bastard. He just took that like it wasn't even a question, didn't he? He's like, oh, look at this, shotgun flying through the air. That'll be mine, thank you very much. And it looks like all of my stuff is gone. My uh, jetpack and my rocket boots. I'll use a hoverboard this time. Although it's gotta be... It's gotta be a flying hoverboard. Oh, I think I just made Maxwell the flying one. Alright, screw it then, I'll just fly around myself. You can have this. Hey, perfect. I just solved someone's problem without even knowing what they needed. What do you need? Oh, he's sick Appalosa. Let's give him, uh... The cure. Cured. Yeah, you're healthy now. Now you get to pull this wagon further into the desert. Actually, I guess I already solved that horse's problem in a weird way by solving the owner's problem, I guess. Coast the snake out of the mine shaft so I can eat. How about I just give you a steak? Steak J. Screw the snake. Have a steak. Yum. You're a very, very docile, friendly dog if you won't even eat that steak. Alright, how do I coax a snake out of something? Make an egg? Or is that the mongoose? I forgot. Oh, there he is. Yeah, no, but you got a mouthful of steak. Oh, you're gonna still get him with the mouthful of steak anyway. Oh, yeah. He ate him right- Oh, holy crap. It's like a dragon. What is that? I don't like that thing. Kill it! 
Oh my god, that was the most horrifying death animation I've seen in a while. I don't want this egg yolk either, that's gross. What do you need? I need to fly back to the base. How about we give you a... Iron Man suit. Alright, you're Iron Man now. You should be good. How about a laser jet? I don't know what that is, but it sounds really cool. Get out of there! I don't think he knows how to fly, which is probably why he crashed. Is he saying that he's asserting his manliness now? What? What is the... How about we give you a tank? Tanks are the memories. Alright, roll away. Come on, buddy. I don't know what this guy wants. Teleporter. It should take you wherever you want to go, right? No. Get. How am I supposed to use this thing if the dude doesn't leave enough room for me to drop it for him? Just teleport. I can use it. I don't know what that just did, but there's me again. Here, you have the shotgun. I'm sure you'll use it for better purposes than I will. Guys, just a lot of trouble. Have a car! Drop a car on you. It won't start. Is that really what you're implicating? Well, I tried to give you things to fly, you didn't want them. How about a Uf UFO? An UFO. Fuyo. Alright, that'll work. I don't know why a UFO immediately manifests as a space type thing. You know, unidentified flying object is all that really means. Anything can be unidentified. It could just be some weird, uh, you know, swamp gas reflecting off a hot air balloon or something. Whatever they said it was. Alright, let's do the star. I know I'm doing these in crazy order today. The Buttered Toast Gang is on the loose. Buttered Toast? Who, wasn't that from Ed, Ed, and Eddie? I don't know. Catch the criminals and return them to the sheriff. Alright, let's do some murdering. I'm gonna make a knife cannon. And see how this goes. This guy's got a sweet hat. She's got all the hats. Or is that a he? I didn't get a good look at the person. I was too distracted by all the hats. Some seriously seedy stuff going on right now. Catch all the crooks, lure the greedy Gary Gold Digger from his hiding spot and return him to the sheriff. Okay, I'm gonna make that knife gun or knife... Knife cannon. Canoon. King cannon. That sounds pretty cool too. This is the best cannon I know of. Interact. Alright, King Cannon. You gotta do better than that. You can't even break a rock. How about a sledge hammer? It worked in Red Faction Gorilla. I mean, I do see that the guy is right there, so maybe I should just hit him. Oh, I killed him. That works, right? Oh, no. Alright, let's try this again. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to lure- okay, he wants money, I guess, so let's make a shiny diamond for him. Oh my god, it's right there! It's well within your grasp. Oh no! I'm so greedy. Oh yeah, look at that, just pick him up by the side like that. Well, you got your shiny diamond, but you're in jail now. That's one bandit down. Kenny can't hold it, Calhoun is next. Can't hold it. Is that a porn star name? Come on now. Uh, where is Kenny Can Hold It Calhoun? Well, this guy's already in jail. This is the crappiest car ever. Uh, let's give myself another jetpack. No, let's dismount. There we go. Ah, this guy. He can't even hold it. Ah, I took your potatoes. Now what are you gonna do? Hot pink. Make him very noticeable. Oh, look, french fries. 
You want some french fries? Ah, you can't get me though, because you're hiding behind the stupid bag. Ah, uh, what can I do to make him leave that bag? I could just tie a chain to him. Kind of curious how this would work. And let's take the other end. I don't know, it makes a weird rubbery kind of effect, which is not what I expected of metal at all. If this was like an elastic waistband out of somebody's underwear, this might react this way. Alright, man. I don't know what your deal is. Are you Kenny Can't Hold a Calhoun? Locksmith. You're hot, you gotta get rid of this bag. Try opposite polarity here, maybe that'll have an effect. Let's get rid of that. Remove, there we go. I'll just chill with this. Frozen french fries. Oh, come on now. Seriously? Now I gotta do it again, huh? Alright, well I know shiny diamonds are your vice. So let's make a diamond lady. Oh, that's a nice lady. You should get her. Yeah! I bet she could lure all of them out. Let's use her as many times as we can. Come on, Kenny. Can't hold it. Calhoun needs you. Can I pick you up? Diamond Lady. She got those diamond eyes. That's a Deftones reference, I'm sorry, that was bad. Uh, I can't seem to pick you up. I guess you are rooted to the ground. I could just make multiple diamond ladies. Jetpack. What do you think? You're not into diamond ladies? No? Alright, well those two diamond people can have a nice life together, I suppose. I don't know what this guy wants. It's an exaggerated potato sack. What if I ride his donkey? What's he gonna say about that? Or his mule? Did I just get a hint? He's a pickpocket. How about I give him a pocket? What? What? A pocket is that? I don't understand. Uh, I'm starting to lose patience here. How do I check? hints for this. I don't even know who to click on here to get hints from anything. Maybe I click on... The war yeah, the warden guy, he's got his... Hiding behind... Yeah, I figured that out already. Why don't you go do some police work? Alright, diamond dude, you're in my way. Maybe you're more useful up here. I can pick up this diamond lady. Oh, she's insistent. How do I get him to drop it? This guy's got a thing for potatoes. No. Put some more in the sack. You can get in it. Maybe. No. Vacuum, it's one C to use, yeah. I'm gonna try and vacuum out his sack. See if that'll help. No, I guess not. Let's fill it back up. I'd like to put some larger objects in there like another donkey. Ah! Now, now we've got an idea. Let's tie this one. Pick up. This way. I don't know what I just did there, but... Oh, I 
I've got the donkey on the rope. Got him on the ropes. Alright, I found you. Pet. Happy donkey's a good donkey. I've moved him up here. Maybe I can use the rope to somehow massage the donkey all the way down. Can I just tie the rope directly to the donkey, please? All I want to do is just completely get rid of this potato sack. Entirely. Okay. Somehow that got him down here. Now tie this to that. Tie it to him. Tie it to anything. Whatever. Dismount. Right. Yeah, now I'm a flying donkey. That does not solve my problem, though. Okay, blind lawman. Please come over here now. Are you transfixed by the diamond lady? Come on. He really needs toilet paper? What? I don't get it. Is that the problem? You just needed to take a crap the whole time? Alright, there you go. Now let's put a rocket on it. That's no, not gonna work. I'm being very insistent about this. There we go. I've dragged this dude on a toilet to you. And he will be hung to death this way if he does not finish this up soon. This is one of the stranger solutions. Alright, we've done it! That's exactly how that was supposed to go. Alright, I'm gonna carry this toilet on a chain around with me in case it comes in handy some more. Can I use it on her? This is probably the coolest thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> oh man, more games need to be like this. Alright, Diamond Dude, you're trash to me. So are you. What do you need? That is an exploding barrel. I'm not sure that I want to light off some explosives right now, though. She's a locksmith. That means she wants a safe to pick the lock of. No, no, not good. Okay, I figured that part out. I guess we'll find out how to solve this in 30 seconds since this doesn't make any actual logical sense. I can't really just beat her with the toilet, unfortunately. Um, i trying to think if there's any other objects. Well, I should probably think while we're on the menu here so we get the timer ticking down. I guess this isn't a good idea. Uh, this sheriff's gotta have a new clue for us soon. She sports. She's obsessed with hats. I guess I probably could have told that, or been able to tell that. How about a pirate hat? <laughs> pirate hat, not hate. You got new headgear? You got the doctor one. Need more? I don't know, what other hats are there? Helmet? Alright, I guess the pirate hat was not sufficient. Helmets, however, are. That guy's in his getaway car there. And that was probably one of the most annoying challenges so far in the game, but at least we did get to bludgeon some people with a toilet on a chain, which is really, really nice to be able to finally do. Alright, we still got four, we've got, uh, three more, no, we've got five more things to get here. 
This guy still needs to get his money, even though I've given him a solid gold horse, a solid gold safe, and a dollar. What do you need? Find a way to safely- how about get a real pet? He's a freaking scorpion lady. Alright, let's make him, uh... Made of rubber? He's a rubber scorpion. This seems safer, right? Friendly. He would never hurt you. She's a rubber scorpion. Ah, uh, she's into all kinds of weird rubber bugs. Alright, that's fine. I think she's gonna... Oh, crap. She's making him too big. Oh, she wants to ride him. That's an odd lady right there. Alright, can I go underneath? No, I cannot. It's up here, nothing much. Apparently danger, probably cactus. Ah, there's always something up on the top everywhere. I'm hungry, but everything around here is alive. Okay, rotting. I can't do rotting, apparently. Um, decaying... Child? Is that sufficient? I mean, you don't look like you're decaying. You gotta be satisfied with that, come on. They don't come this, this easy that often in the desert. There we go. No leftovers. Oh, I think I made him sick though, he ate too much. Alright, we got six out of nine. I gotta stop wandering my way into that. Oh, it's the plane crash. I'm gonna probably want this shotgun back, thank you. One thing about this game is if you start to move too fast when you've clicked something, it'll just sort of ignore that command entirely, which is a little strange. What? Disguise yourself as one of the bandits and pull the switch to get into- oh. Well, geez, I didn't know that was a thing to do. Bandit. Bandit outfit. That's not a thing. There we go. Now I'm disguised, right? Alright, gold horse. I might need to ride you. Alright, calm down, Maxwell. A bandit mask. This has to work. Just pretend I'm going to one of those uh, orgies at the mountain house on the, the mansion up the hill. All right, what do we need? We just got to get the money back, or do we have to do something to these poor people? I just take this empty. Oh, you don't mind though, really? All right, I'm sorry. I have to kill you now. Oh, that was an orgy of violence. Continue. What happens now? I respawn. And everything is dark. Oh, no, it isn't. Gatling gun. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Do they have one in laser form? Oh, Jesus, this guy's, like, stabbing me to death. Or oh, it's a lady. Alright, sorry. I've got to kill your whole family. It's just how it works in the Wild West, man. You knew that when you bought a gun. I just bought a bigger gun, and by bought, I mean summoned out of thin air. Alright, lives have been taken. And money is reclaimed. No, don't... I meant to pick it up, not attack it. Money's always the solution, never the problem. Well, I guess your solid gold horse safe and dollar were not enough. I hope it's worth the lives that... We're taken. Now I can play as Tony. That's all I needed to hear. Alright, we got one more starry bit to find. And I'm gonna guess it's up here, yeah. This is the one place we haven't been. There's a flying buffalo up here, that's pretty cool. Can't hunt the flying buffalo with these. Use an adjective to give our arrows greater strength. Alright, let's make them laser arrows. Laser arrow, that's fine. 
Well, I guess give that back then. Jesus, what are you? Now his bow doesn't work. Laser crossbow. This seems pretty sweet. Okay. Hammer. He wants to do push-ups. He doesn't want to shoot. Alright, maybe I'll give you a bow back. Weapon. And then you should see the laser arrow right at your feet. Correct? It's right here. Pick it up. Pick it up. Oh, you're so dumb. Can any of you do this? Seriously. Have a bow. Both of you get a bow. And it's like destroying the frame rate on top of it. I don't even understand what's going on here. Should I just give him that adjective? Laser. Mighty. Alright. Mighty works, apparently. There you go. Man, this Wild West level has been very, uh... Just brutal. Everything just wants to kill everything else. It's a tough life out there. Alright, so it looks like we're done. And that is another one under our belts. Our dusty, leathery belts. And that is it for today. Thank you, as always, for watching. I hope you come back for another one tomorrow, or whenever the next episode goes up. I assume it'll probably be tomorrow. But thanks so much, and I hope you have a lovely night. And I hope you don't let this episode be a downer, because there's so much killing and death. Oh well. Talk to you later, guys.